Okay. So, um, now that we have the holiday season coming up, we just wanted to go ahead and share some of the toys and things that we had when we were kids or things that we wanted that was on our Santa list. A lot of the things Santa brought for me. Did Santa get you a lot of the things that you asked for? I asked for simple things. So did you get it? Um, I guess so. So I got G.I. Joe's. I got pretty much everything I wanted. He asked for G.I. Joe's, so that's what he got. So a little bit of backstory to this whole thing is every time we see something that comes on the TV and we're like, oh, that reminds us of blah, blah, blah. Darren would be like, man, I never had that. <laughs> I always wanted that when I was a kid and make his life seem like so sad. And then he'll look and be like, but I bet you had it, right? <laughs> and half the stuff I do have because I, I don't know, maybe I just asked for everything like London. That's probably what happened. <laughs> But I was also one of those action figure guys. Like I just liked G.I. Joe's and cars and like the Hot Wheel cars. And you could get five Hot Wheel cars for like a dollar. <laughs> so I loved Hot Wheel cars. I love Ninja Turtles. But let's just go right into it and we talk about those things. Um, I have a list. I have a list of all the amazing things that I wanted. Number one on my list. Power Rangers. And not just any Power Rangers but the ones when you press the belt and the head changed from the regular head and it flipped over to the Power Ranger head. You know what I'm talking about? I do know what you're talking about. I wanted those things so badly. And they were like th they were like this tall and I just never had one, man. I wanted one so badly. All my friends used to bring them into school, but I just never got one. Was that on your Christmas list? It probably was. That's back when I used to just do the same thing with circling the little pages in a book of what I wanted. I don't think I actually wrote out a list though. I think I just circled the book and left the book on the countertop. Probably that's why I didn't. Maybe, maybe that's why. those pages were together. They were stuck together. Or maybe that's why Santa didn't get the book. Maybe. Maybe he didn't get the book. I should have wrote a list. That's right. Alright, so... I mean, like I said, all the toys that I asked for, I wanted. But one thing that was really on the top of my list was a Barbie house. And looking at all the Barbie houses and all that stuff, I realized that the Barbie house wasn't big enough for me. So <laughs> what I did was just ask for a little kitchen stuff and I would have like Barbie waffles, a Barbie turkey, like literally everything that you can think of. And I would make my entire room like a Barbie land and I would make my dresser, the whole Barbie house with the drawers would be different rooms. So even though I thought I wanted a Barbie house, I thought better and I said okay maybe I don't want a Barbie house maybe I just want a whole bunch of accessories and I want to create my own house kind of like how I want to do right now we're not gonna get into that <laughs> but I used to do the same thing though but with my Hot Wheel car so I used to set up I didn't have a track or anything like that what I used to do was set up different parts of my rooms as different parts of the the mission I was on so I would drive from one section of the room go up the bed go down and then I had the stool that I gave, that London has right now, her little stepping stool. Yeah. I used to use that as an elevator because the thing goes up, so I used to put them on the bottom of it and I used to But then roll. it flips all the way over. But what it did. Cars? It was an elevator that doubled, so you used to have to stop, stop it halfway. It was a manual elevator. Oh. So you stop it halfway and then you roll down like a ramp. But then like when it was in Mission Critical, we used to put it on it and I used to fling the cars and the cars would fling off the stool. Good times. Good times. But, well, so I know what you're talking about on that. Yeah, because it's better to build your own. It's more tailored to what you need. Like, literally, the Barbie house that London has has four sections. And you can't even have kitchen stuff. That's why all the stuff is on the wall because there is no space for it. Yeah, it actually looks a little boring. Yeah. All right, well, next thing on my list of what I wanted for Christmas and it's because I've seen Home Alone, but that good old fashioned talk boy recorder, you know, the guy. Uh, I know what you're talking and about. And then they came out with the girl version in pink and purple. Yeah, I think I had one of those because I did have something where you could talk and like talk into it and it'll change your voice. I don't know actually what it did. So I don't actually know if the what it did in the movie is actually what it actually did. But I wanted it so badly. What did it do in the movie again? He used to play it. He recorded the TV show, well, the movie, and then he played it back to the guys and he was able to speed it up, slow it down. Um, he was able to change his voice. So 
I wanted one bad, but I actually didn't know what it did. You Interesting. Have, you have one. No, I think I probably had like a bootleg version because mine definitely didn't do all that stuff. But like I said, I don't know if it actually did those things because that was before age of doing research. You just said, hey, I want it. <laughs> okay, so um, one thing that I asked for that I really, really loved was what's the skip thing? Oh, a skip it? Yes, a skip it. Those things was the bomb in New York. Like, if you had one of those, you could play that all day long if you was a female in New York. Remember when they came out with the one with the counter on it? So you yes, didn't have to catch that's the one I had. So it was the one where every time you it would go around your ankle and you would jump over it, it would have the little counter to count over and over how many times you jump. That was kind of like, that was the formal version of helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter, turn around. Helicopter, helicopter, touch the ground. You mean when ground. people used to and take their you jackets? Take the rope? No, we did a rope. Why? Y'all so ghetto. <laughs> no. We used the jacket on. When we used to wait for the bus. We used to use a jacket and swing it around. If you got hit uh, with somebody's jacket, then you got caught. Okay, we did a jump rope at recess, that's, and that's you would take the rope. It, it it really was. You was definitely going home with a whelp, no yeah. matter how good you was at this game. So yeah, and then you would turn around and have to jump. So that was our school skip it. Oh, but yeah, skip us was pretty cool. Yeah. I think my cousin Ashley had one actually. Did they have boy versions, or was it only for girls? I think it was unisex. Mine was pink and purple. I think they had regular solid colors though. But I think because I, as I recall in a commercial. It was both guys and girls in a commercial plane. Mm. But another thing that I wanted was uh, a Super Soaker. And mm. I think back in the day, I think it was like the Super Soaker 50 or one of those weird things. And you had the little pump action. You just... Never got a water gun though. We used to... <laughs> we had water balloons, but no water gun. I think my brother had a Super Soaker maybe. I had a Super Soaker. They had like super soaker, super soakers were big back then. They had the ones with the backpack. Yeah. They had the one with the little funnel thing. Like they had a lot. Yeah, they had the like the one I the original one I think was like a green one. And I think Ainsworth did have it actually. Now that I think about it. He just didn't let you play with it. Maybe I just would never want to play with it. This might have been one of those other things in life that I said, hey, I want, but I just actually never really wanted. You know, like. Gak, you remember Gak? What was that? A putty? Yeah, I think it was like a um, I think it's like slime type thing that mm -hmm. used to used to squeeze and it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Did you ever have a Tamagotchi? I had one. Oh my God! I thought that was only for girls too. I had a Tamagotchi. Mom would always die. Like I went and cleaned the poop, and then you would just see poop all over the screen, but and it would die. Tamagotchi came out when it was like in fifth grade, so that was what ninety eight. Um. I found mine on the floor, actually. So you stole it? It wasn't stolen. It was found on the floor. London, don't watch this. It was found on the oh, floor. Oh, man. I gave proper time for somebody to claim it. Did you say I found the Tamagotchi? Okay. And then remember what Tamagotchi, they had the little one, then they had the big screen one? No, I just had the regular circle one. It was purple, and it was a dog. Oh. I, I hate, love those things. It was cool for like the first 24 hours. Yeah, and then you forget about it. No, and then I was like, why am I wasting my time on this? Like, it was just kind of like, maybe that's why I don't like to take care of pets now to this day. <laughs> I, was, I just couldn't see the whole joy that everybody had because I remember people just sitting there. Yeah, you got to take care of that thing. You got to feed it, clean up after it, make sure it gets exercise. Like, Matter of fact, it made a, it made a comeback. When we was in college, really, you, you made us buy two of them. I don't remember that. You made us buy two of them, and the reason I remember is because I went home that summer to work at the summer camp, and I gave it to a little girl in my group. I said, "Just play with it and go about your day." She's like seven years old. So what happened to them? How do I know? Same thing that happened to your fish. Rest in peace. No, my fish had long and prosperous lives. Right. It just wasn't built for the climate of Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> it was a New York fish. Northern, <laughs> no, northern, northern Atlantic betas. Cold weather only. <laughs> Tims, those, those, those fish wore Tims in the tank. 
They came down here, they didn't know what to do. They oh. died. <laughs> do you remember the moon shoes? No, what is that? So the moon shoes are like thick Spice Girl shoes. The Spice Girl shoes are like platform this big. And then with the moon shoes, you would strap them on to your feet and you would be able to like jump up and down. Actually very dangerous. <laughs> but they were called moon shoes and you could just jump. Were they only two straps, like how they got those two yeah. straps on those sandals? Yes, or like the two straps on the old, old, old skates. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Yes. I think I know what you're talking about. So those was pretty hot back in the day. Sheree had those. I thought they were cool, but I didn't want it for Christmas or anything. Sheree had a pair of those. Mm. What I wanted was... You know how they had easy bake ovens? Yes, I had I I, several. I, I didn't want an easy bake oven, but I wanted the creepy crawler which was like the they used to make mm -hmm. insects i remember the commercials because the commercials would hook me in the evening time on uh, cartoon network but you used to put the little whatever the creation was yeah. inside and you push it and it made like spiders and worms i wanted yeah. that thing so badly um those commercials look so much fun everybody looked like they had a grand old time ah type type <laughs> deal brought you back to your childhood yeah man um, I wanted that, but it was one of those things I was like, how much fun am I really going to get out of this after the first day? I mean, I'm sure it will be fun. It's just that you got to keep buying the things over and over again. Like play And my cake never really cooked through. Mm. I always thought Easy Bake Ups was, was dangerous because I couldn't fathom how you were actually cooking anything in that little thing. Yeah. Mm. Did you even eat that stuff that it ever I made? didn't. But you can make pretzels, pizza, cake, like I've seen crazy the cake stuff ones. Now. I've seen the cake ones, but I was like, that biscuit's probably dry and mm. Yeah, they were super thin. Like a pancake. Yeah. So never really cared too much about that. But you know what I did want? A bop it. Oh yes. A bop it. Yes. And then when I got older, I was working at the summer camp. They had a bop it. The bop was like the bop it remix. Yeah, they have so many now. Yeah, and man, I used to spend. I used to kill batteries. Of well, that. And now they got the one you pull it out, you turn it, I, you bop it. I think that's the remix one. It's like a yeah. stick. Because the original one was like a steering wheel, uh -huh. right? So I remember that, but we had the remix one. So you bing, bing. Yeah. I used to love that thing right there. That and Simon. Yeah, Simon is a beat. Like Simon, you can play that all day. Remember Polly Pockets? Yes, I do actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they were like little seashell things and then you open them up and a Polly Pocket was like this big, literally this big. So I had a couple of Polly Pockets. Those things were, but you always lose the little Polly or whatever her name was. You will lose it because she was so small. Yeah, weren't they like, like the lock was in like this. It was yeah, like, it was like it was a, like, a clam shape. Mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember Polly Pockets. And the Polly Pocket was like really, really small. Mm, I do remember Polly Pocket. Wow, we got all about that guy. Yeah. Oh, you remember Rock'em Sock'em Robots? Yes, you know I, they sell those now. Really? Yes. I had one of those though. So, okay, tell me about the one before because the one now I was looking and it's the red one and the blue one, but it's on like a um, wrestling Yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Okay, so I thought that they were bigger or something. No. Well, maybe the video just made them seem so much bigger, but they're just two little things. Yeah, they're two little things and you and you just th press the buttons and they just, all they yeah. do is that. That's okay. all they do. I think and you just hit them enough that. and they go, and the head goes up. Yeah. I had the Street Fighter version. Okay. I was had, that like the more advanced version or was that the bootleg version? I have no idea. We might have to look that up. But it was the Street Fighter version because it had Guile and I think it was Guile versus Ryu, I want to say. Who but I know it was the Street Fighter version because the head will pop up. Um, but it was, no, I think it was more deluxe version because it was like the actual characters. It wasn't just like two little skinny robots uh -huh. just going like that back and back. Uh -huh. They both did the same thing with it. just literally go like that though. Well, that's the only thing I could think of off the top of my head of things that I wanted as a kid because I was like I said I was more so into Hot Wheels 
Ninja Turtles. Like I remember going to KB Toys with my mother, and my mother said you get they one. They probably don't even know what KB Toys. You don't. Did they have those in Atlanta. They had one in Georgia. They had one in Tanger Outlets up to a couple a couple of years ago. They don't have it anymore, but I feel feel like it was a KB. Anyway, KB Toys, and I used to go there. I think it was in Queensboro Mall, um, and I used to get one toy, and I used to, I, was, I used to be on a fence. The Ninja Turtle, oh, <laughs> GI Joe, oh, Hot Wheels. I don't know what to do. And then I used to think, all right, so this one is cheaper, so maybe I could get two of these for the price <laughs> of the one. So. But yeah, Ninja Turtles, I, Ninja Turtles was my thing. Like, I had a lot of Ninja Turtles, like, Ninja Turtles. But there was only... No, but they had five, what, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, and Raphael. There's four characters, but they had different versions. So like it I, was like Sky, Sky in the helicopter, yeah, Sky on a motorcycle. Like, I had Sky one okay. where that you used to lean their body to the side on one side, and it'll make them do a side flip. Like, you just lean it, you press it down, and it'll flip to the other side. Um, I had other ones we could take out the sword and put it in the back. Um, they had some that used to fit inside the, what was it, the shell shot mobile? But when I got that, that was the greatest thing ever when I got the, the, their car. Like Anyway, that is just a trip down memory lane with us and just talking about some of the toys that we had and wanted as kids. Good you know, times. If you guys have anything that we missed, definitely put it in the comments below. We want to hear about it. And you know what? I think we should do a TV show episode. TV shows that we used to watch as kids. Mm, that sounds good. Because right now my daughter watches two shows. Paw Patrol and Paw Patrol. So I guess... She watches movies. She does watch movies. But anyway, we'll get into that next week. So until then, thanks for watching. Definitely feel free to subscribe. Like I said, leave your comments below. If we missed anything, we want to hear from you. If you want to do a collab in the future, definitely reach out to us. Send us an email at darrenandsherelle at gmail.com. Leave us a comment. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to find us. Reach out to us. It's the holiday season, so we all know there's a bunch of videos coming out, vlogmas and all that wonderful stuff. So feel free to hit us up. Until next time, bye. Happy holidays.